Hello and welcome. I'm planning to do the Camino del Norte next year and one of the things I'm thinking about is what kind of socks I will take and use. Now I know there are many options to choose from but based on my previous experience of walking the Camino and also of hiking I'd like to compare two kinds of socks today. Merino wool and synthetic and I'd like to see whether I can come up with a final decision about which ones to take. These are the Hike 500 socks that I bought from Decathlon. They cost 12 Singapore dollars and 50 cents for two pairs. These socks are made from 100% synthetic material. 95% of it is what we would call nylon and the other 5% is a material called elastane for stretchability. Now according to the web page for this product uh, these socks feature uh, the following benefits. They are said to be eco-friendly and designed to reduce friction. They are breathable and durable to suit all kinds of walks and hikes. Some of the other notable benefits include comfort, water resistance and anatomic design. Um, that is that uh, each sock is specifically contoured for either your left or your right foot. In my experience, the Height 500 socks are indeed comfortable and well fitting. I've never had a blister or soreness while wearing these socks. Now from what I know, these socks are very quick drying because of the synthetic material that's used. And that's particularly useful if you're on the Camino and you're doing your laundry and then you set your clothing out to dry in the open air. It doesn't take long uh, for them to be ready to use again. Now these are my merino wool socks from a company called Darn Tough. Um, they are made in Vermont, the USA, and they cost 39 Singapore dollars per pair. Interestingly, when you look at the packaging at the back, um, the socks are made up of 45% merino wool, 52% nylon, and 3% lycra, I guess, for elasticity. The Darn Tough socks have some interesting features. Uh, primarily, they are moisture wicking, uh, which means that moisture will stay on the surface of the socks and evaporate into the air. They're also thermoregulating, uh, which means that they're not too hot in the summer and not too cold in the winter. They're also antimicrobial, which means that bad smells and odours will dissipate very quickly from the socks and are also said uh, to provide all day comfort. Yeah, and these darn tough socks are really comfortable. Um, they have excellent cushioning. It feels like you've got a Rolls Royce on your feet. Um, they really are uh, superbly comfortable. Now making a final decision about whether to take merino wool or synthetic socks is going to be difficult um, and I'm cautious about making a blanket recommendation for one type of sock over the other uh, because cost is an important factor to take into account. Um, on the downside I think the merino wool socks take a bit longer to dry um, but on the other hand um, you don't need to wash them so often uh, and I think that that's a really good uh, feature of the sock. So I'm going to go with merino wool socks simply because I believe that um, when they're available uh, it's best to go with the uh, good quality product because that will uh, make your hiking experience uh, that much better uh, in the long run. Um, and so that's what I've decided to do. I'll take these merino wool socks with me on the Camino next year and I might just have a pair of the synthetic socks as a backup in case there is a really rainy day uh, and I don't want to get these wet. So we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know in the future. If you're interested in knowing more about the choices that you can make uh, when it comes to footwear, I have uh, a video uh, and the links up here uh, that you can check out uh, where I compare trail runners with hiking boots. Anyway, for now, that's all I have and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.